Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sanjay Raj. In this video, I wanted to teach you guys how to create a simple login page using vanilla just HTML and just CSS. As you guys can see, this is kind of a clean layout on how to create a login page. This can be used for you guys to create on your resumes or portfolios or just to create a website in general. So before we do get started, I want you guys to subscribe to my channel because we recently, today we hit 103 subscribers which is really awesome I've been doing this for about four to five months I'm really happy you guys subscribe to my channel if you guys are new I want you guys to subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red button right below and also click on that like button if you enjoy this video before that uh, let's just get started so first of all I just have an empty HTML and style.css um, in a normal folder called login page uh, first of all I'll be opening this up with live server which is kind of a plugin uh, that you can use in order to uh, run, the, run the code in real time and see the pro result in real time. So the first thing you want to do is going to be you want to put an exclamation mark uh, to use emit. So you put that and I'm going to say um, um, login page. After the title, I want to link this to the style.css. Right inside the body, what you want to create a form uh, or form tag, a div tag with a class of login form. Right after that, you want to create a div with a class of form. Um, it, so this is the parent class and this is the uh, child class so we are going to be using this to uh, uh, kind of manipulate the second one I am looking at the code right now because uh, it's kind of complex uh, so I hope you guys get it right after that you wanna have an h3 uh, which will say welcome to as you guys can see welcome to and then we want the the Twiller which is the app name to be kind of different mm, so I'll leave some space I'll put a span tag uh, no classes because that is the only span tag we'll be using I'll just say Twiller and a full stop a dot and right after the h3 we need two inputs which is gonna be the uh, email and the password so input type is going to be email uh, we don't need a name um, so let me do that class of email and I want the placeholder to be email as well so I'll copy that I paste it right below I want the next type to be password the class to be password as well the placeholder to be password as well now this is all good but we do need a submit button so for that I'm gonna make a um, sorry so I'm gonna make a button with a class of submit and inside that we're just gonna put a value of submit as you guys um, should have seen is the live server working oh, well. mm. yeah, okay I just didn't save it okay right now the HTML is done so we have the parent div the child div which is going to contain the form if you want anything else you could put it in the parent div as well um, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to learn about div classes and stuff and also here we have an h3 then we have two import boxes uh, and a button which is basic so in the style.css you want to create an asterisk so which is going to be a style for the whole uh, website so the first thing you want to obviously do is margin 0 padding 0 and you want to put box sizing border box and the font that I'm actually using is called Montserrat if that's not there I want to use sans serif it's quite famous uh, in like the web uh, UI design industry so in the body we want kind of a background we want kind of a like of shaded background so for the body 
I want to give a background value of EC 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 mm. and then we want to give display flex justify content center align item center and I want to give the height to be 100 VH which is going to make it align right in the middle exactly where we want it to align after that we want to target the parent div which is going to which is a thing that is surrounding this which is containing the child div so let me actually get all the code for you guys right there we want the margin to be auto because we are going to be adjusting the width of it so um, margin auto we want the background color to be a RGB which is going to be 255, 255 and 255 then we want the display to be flex and we want the height to be 370 pixels and the width to be 350 pixels as you guys can see it's right there aligned but we want it to come to the middle so what we actually want to do is the same thing we did to the body display flex uh, justify content center align item center and as you guys can see it's perfectly aligned we also want to give it kind of like uh, what do you mean it's not working mm. working form we want a border radius of 10 pixels and we want a basic box shadow of 10 pixels to the top bottom and top left and the bottom uh, and the top no top bottom and the left and right so we want RGB to be 000 and 0.308 so if we see it's kind of looking really well and I also want to change the color a little bit mm. uh, let me change that to a kind of a hexadecimal um, you guys can use this if you are using visual studio code just like that right after that what you want to do you want to target the child uh, the child div which is going to be form you want to put the width of the form to be 80% so it's kind of aligned in the middle and it has some border so width 80% and you want the margin to be auto which makes it cent aligned centrally and also the e email and the password to break down now we want to target the class form sorry and the h3 of it we want to target the margin and we want to get it a little bit a bigger and the font size as well uh, targeting the font size so sorry we want the margin to be 15 pixels and zero on the left and right and we want the font size to be quite big as you guys saw on the demo it's the font size is quite big as you guys uh, do see like that it's not still like it's supposed to be but we will figure that out after we want to target the form inputs by typing in the class name and then the uh, tag name then we want to put the width to a hundred percent on a padding to be 13 pixels on all sides and we want the font size to be 15 pixels uh, it's some quick CSS a margin bottom of 20 pixels border radius of 2 pixels we also want to make a border uh, like a separate border because we don't want that because that's kind of a default ugly border mm, so the border wanted to be two pixels 
solid hashtag 646464 which is going to give it that nice look and uh, we want the opacity to kind of uh, fade out a little bit so we want the opacity to be 0.5 and we want the outline to be none so what outline is is uh, say we don't uh, use the outline we click on it there's this blue glow out of it so that's exactly what the outline targets so in case we put outline none once we click there's nothing in the background so that's the input so the same thing is gonna go for the button as well the form button um, let me just copy the same thing for you guys copy and paste them if I do that it's gonna look like uh, look like just the input uh, but one if you want to change it want the background color to be quite different stand out from everything I want it to be nine two uh, eight three seven four uh, which is that we don't want the opacity to fade out and there it goes uh, the last one is we want to add some animations uh, sorry if you guys hear some sound it's just the TV so also when we hover over the button we want some uh, function to take place so we copy form button we put a colon and we say hover and open the curly brackets inside this whatever you put will be added to the function when uh, what which happens when the mouse uh, hovers over the submit button so we actually see uh, copy the background paste it right there control c control v and hover over the hexadecimal and make it a little bit dark so if we actually hover over it it, it becomes a little bit dark also as you guys see in the demo i want this to be the same color as this uh, also i don't want the border on the um button so i'll say border none a border hover and we want to target the twiller which is going to be the span so there is only one span overall here in span we want to give the color to be the exact color that we are using right there is 646464 or a little bit darker okay um yes guys maybe that's it um yeah guys it's just some basic functionality you guys can type in uh the gmail account then the password which is going uh, if you're using it in php if you want to encrypt it and stuff like that you guys can implement that as well you guys can also add up some stuff and use it in your own projects that's about it guys i'm saying it again please subscribe to my channel guys we i want to reach at least 200 subscribers by the end of this month so i want you guys to please subscribe to my channel by clicking that subscribe button down below and i'll see you guys in the next video